Hey guys, Trevor here with eCommerce Paradise. Welcome to today's episode. I'm going to talk about why your store isn't profitable yet and what you should focus on to make it profitable, what you can do about it. And this is specifically going to be about Google Shopping Ads strategy. So when it comes to high ticket drop shipping, there's one method of driving qualified traffic that wants to buy products in your stores right now. And that one method is Google Shopping Ads. With that said, let's get into the video. I'm gonna talk about a coaching call I had with a student and um, after I took a look at his site and other things, I realized the number one thing he needed to do was to fix his Google Shopping ad. So let's get into it. When I asked him about his ad account, what he told me um, was startling. He really only set up one Google Shopping campaign and he set it up just as a smart campaign and pretty much let Google do whatever they wanted to. So when I knew that, I knew that that was the problem uh, because we don't just do that, okay? With high ticket dropshipping, in order to be successful and actually profitable with this business, you have to set up your Google ad campaigns correctly or else you just won't get the traffic. You won't get the quality of traffic. You won't get the people that are actually interested in buying your product now to get to your page. You'll get people that might be interested in buying the product someday or they're just curious about it right now and maybe three to six months later they might buy it, but not today. Um, you really wanna get those people to your website that are comparison shoppers. The people that are shopping around for the best price in town on the internet, the people that are shopping around for the best deals and the most trustworthy website, okay? So if you can drive that kind of traffic, you have a much better chance of making sales even if your website isn't perfect because at least you get a better quality of shopper coming to your website. So I'm gonna go over some quick things here. Um, these are the things we talked about during the call. Um, the number one thing that um, I established with him was, um, you know, overall, what has he done so far? Um, his website has, it was started in March of this year, so it's been going on for about six months now. Um, he has 14 brands. Um, his Google Shopping ads are costing him about 30 bucks a day, which is like $1,000 a month. And so far he's only made about $11,000 per sales per month on average and mostly through one product. And that's not surprising because with one Google Shopping campaign, um, they're not gonna know um, what products to send traffic to besides just the ones that you know are getting the most uh, queries in Google that you have available in your shopping feed. So the average uh, price point of the products is around $1,000 and he's making a couple hundred bucks, so his average margin is 20%. So I, you know, I figured, okay, great, you know, like if it's, like that across that, then the niche definitely is probably profitable enough to run ads and see a good return on ad spend, okay? Because what you wanna really focus on is your return on ad spend, and um, otherwise known as ROAS. And what that means is that like, if you put $1,000 into ads, how much sales do you get out of that? Do you get $10,000 in sales? Do you get 20,000? Do you get 50,000? Do you get 100,000? So if you put 1,000 in ads and you get 10,000 in sales, that's a 10X ROAS. That's not bad, that's a good starting point, but you're probably not gonna be very profitable with 10X ROAS. You need to get to 20, 30 or 40x return on ad spend to be profitable with your online business. In order to do that and to be able to be profitable with, with advertising, um, you need to have a lot of things in place. Okay, so the first thing that I'm working with him on um, is his ad account. And the next thing after that is going to be retargeting and then optimization of his website. Okay, so this is the first thing we're doing. Obviously, stopping the new campaign is important. We're going to set up the new campaigns. Um, I show how I set up these campaigns in the High Ticket Job Shipping Masterclass. Um, if you're interested in actually getting the step by step training, you can go check that out at ecommerceparadise.com slash masterclass. It's on sale for a limited time, so make sure you get in there quick uh, before the price goes up. And the, um, the overview of the course is also available in the mini course that I talked about earlier. It's the third video of my high ticket dropshipping blueprint. I talk about the three campaign structure and why I do that. Okay, so there's three campaigns in place. There's a priority one, a priority two, and a priority three. And you're going to be applying each campaign to a different priority because you want to prioritize based on keywords, okay? And the most important types of keywords you want to prioritize here are the long tail keywords. The long tail as far as product names go, okay? Product specific keywords. And when you prioritize based on that and you bid the highest on those, that's when you'll start getting the really quality traffic into your shopping ads. So it's a three tier campaign system and you're prioritizing and bidding highest on those long tail keywords and you're um, you know, optimizing from there. Um, it requires careful selection of negative keywords and it requires um, you know, a lot of different setup 
uh, stages for your Google Shopping feed. Um, using Shopify though and Shopify apps, it's really simple and they can make an optimized Shopify feed for you. You just need to check with Google Merchant Center to make sure all the products are approved. Um, and once you set up the campaigns, you need to check your bids and search terms and optimize those accordingly. And um, based on you know what's not getting clicks and what is getting clicks, what's getting conversions, what's not getting conversions. And then search terms, you wanna check to make sure that there's no product names showing up in your generic campaign, there's no generic keywords showing up in your product campaign, and so on and so forth. And once things are all ironed out after the first week or two, your ad campaign should be really profitable, okay? And this is how it, usually how it always works with us. Um, and then from there, it's all about just getting new suppliers on board, adding new products, yeah, integrating them into the Google Shopping campaign. And then from there, you can work on retargeting and you can work on optimization. Um, and, you know, of course, then you can start working the top of the funnel in organic content. But it's not until you first get this bottom of the funnel paid advertising going on and the bottom line conver conversion optimization tactics set up on your website that you're going to get profitable enough to be able to reinvest in building your business. Okay. So that's the number one thing. For more information again, go get my free course, ecommerceparadise.com slash secrets. You can learn all my secrets to living the location, independent lifestyle, working from home, working from coffee shops, relaxing, not working on anybody else's time and just chilling. And, um, you can do this from anywhere in the world pretty much. Um, and of course, uh, being able to live this lifestyle gives you the means to spend more time with your family and friends um, and, you know, relax and enjoy life more. Okay, so um, get in there to the mini course and I'll show you the secrets and I'll show you the blueprint and I'll talk to you about the mindset you need for success with this. Um, and then you can also get my free niches list and along with the niches list, you'll get a training for my three secrets for niche selection. Um, and it's really important because niche selection is the most important part of this process because if you choose the wrong niche, you'll get burnt out, okay? And you won't be profitable. You need to choose the right niche based on profitability, based on passion, um, and based on your knowledge and skills and abilities, okay? So those three need to intersect intersect correctly and you need to make that choice according to you know what you know about yourself okay so i talk about that there go to ecommerceparadise.com slash niches to sign up you'll get the free training um you'll get an offer for my course and you'll also get also get the niches list email to you so check your email for that hey guys i hope you enjoyed this video and uh, talk about google ads strategies so if uh you don't mind please leave a review of the podcast uh you can go to ecommerceparadise.com slash podcast on the itunes store and leave a review i really appreciate that and if you're on youtube watching definitely leave a comment and like and share with your friends thanks so much and i'll talk to you in the next episode take care